So our new story begins in the 14th century of France, and our protagonist Morance goes to the library to get a grimoire to study alchemy, but at the academy, the girls were disappointed that Morency again skipped his classes, Morency is a nerd who wants to be an alchemist but had no luck so far, and the Rishma came to him to remind him that he has the lowest marks in all the subjects of the academy yet he keeps studying this foolishness of alchemy. Their other girls came to find him and saw Rishma already got ahead of them. Morency was in cafeteria where he explained the alchemy that could make him immortal using Philosopher's Stone if he masters it, with it he could save others as well. But Morency couldn't understand the grimoire because it's written in code and only that old man in the library could decipher it, he's Nicholas Flamel, a famous alchemist but he always pretends to be a normal man, but right now, the French and English men are at war. So Rishma told Morency to contribute to his land but Morency doesn't like bloodshed, so he called out to Rishma at night to go somewhere. There Charlotte and Philip somehow got the wind of it and tagged along, Morency wants to meet fairies that he saw in the library, library is owned by Nicholas so those fairies might know alchemy, that's why he wants to learn it from them, but the setting was scary, and Charlotte kept teasing Philip by telling scary stories, and there an owl scared the hell out of them, and Philip wet her pants, so when she was changing her clothes, English soldiers ambushed them, Rishma was good at fighting, but Morency wasn't in the slightest, so he just used some ash to buy some time, and Charlotte started to act as if they are attacking the pupil of the famous alchemist, Morency goes along with the play and showed another poison, and he might use Philosopher's Stone which could change them completely, Morency showed he's using it on Philip and she also played along and showed her personality changed, that was enough time they bought, and Rishma then beats all of them, Rishma felt blessed to be spending time with her friends, and wished to stay friends forever, truly a blissful time they had, so they swore an oath that they would stay friends forever even after they graduated, but fate had other plans, Rishma got a letter from her family which becomes a turning point. But right now, some moron challenges Morency to a duel for putting Philip in danger, he likes Philip, and she plainly rejected the guy. So Rishma stepped in to stop his idiotic brother from this foolishness and cracked his nuts. Then she took Morency to have a talk and told him she got a letter from her older brother that the English army is trying to retreat and the French army wants to ambush them, for that they need every manpower they have, and Rishma had to take part in it, her other brother despises the battle, and to save the face of Brittany household she must step forward. Morency wanted to accompany her but truth hits hard because Morency is a loser who loses each and every fight, so Rishma enjoyed her last time with Morency. And Morency wanted to use the Philosopher's Stone to make Rishma immortal, but Nicholas told him that being immortal is a curse because you live a solitary life. Running away from everyone living away from human connections, and soon, the time came for the battle, and the English fooled the French by a false retreat. They turned the tables and killed almost everyone, Rishma was doing her best in the battlefield, but at last even her turn came, their Morency arrived there but he was late and lost Rishma that day. Later Charlotte also left for her royal duties, and Philip was called by her father as he had joined hands with the English army, and Morency started his experiment to become immortal to save Rishma, and his philosopher's stone turns out to be real, and with it he summoned the fairy queen, but she was quite angry that a human awoke her and treated Morency like a slave, yet he accepted being a slave if he gets power of philosopher's stones, so Astroff agreed to help him out, but first Morency needs elixir to sustain the power, all the historic figures were using Philosopher's Stone and earned the title of Ulysses. And now Morency is chosen to be the new Ulysses because he had the stone, so Morency started to create elixir to sustain the power of Philosopher's Stone but lost the sense of time completely, and only after seven years he woke up. At that time, somewhere far away in a village in France, a girl named Jean was praying for the peace and her development, and their Morency got there to use the ruins to make his elixir. Jean thought the potion could make her racks bigger, but it was alchemy not magic. Even so Jean was reluctant and tried to get some, and in the scuffle, Morency added a bit extra to his elixir which resulted in explosion. Morency took all the hit to save Jean, however, luck was on his side and his life was saved. But Morency got pissed by his failure again. It should have taken only three years to make elixir but it took seven years and yet nothing. But making elixir means entering a different world so the flow of time was altered for him. And the job of Ulysses is to bring peace to the world by stopping the war, but Morency has no thoughts of playing hero. There Jean heard it and apologized for her mistake, but Morency assured her that failure isn't new, so it's not her fault, 
There's suddenly a group of mercenaries to demand the food to defend the village from the attack of the English army, and their Jean jumps on Nakara to stop her from killing others, which was a reckless move as she could have killed her but she didn't, instead she's wary of Morency, but cuteness is her weak point, so Nakara stopped herself after seeing Astroff, so Jean asked her not to take the whole food because they need it to survive the winter, but Nakara can't do anything, wages from French army is barely arriving for her, there suddenly. Saliva River came rushing out of Morency's mouth, so the logical thinking is that he had become an elixir factory because of the explosion from earlier. So now he can't swallow the Philosopher's Stone or it could make his power unstable, which could also cause death, but between their conversation, the English army had approached the town and the bloody battle started again, and Morency was thinking of passing the stone to Nikera, but she's a mercenary and she could misuse its power so Astroff stopped him, at that time, those little fairies came to save Jean, and Jean heard their cries, so she ran to save them and saw the soldiers had squashed them to death, broken from it she begged to save the last fairy, and even then, the guy killed it and killed Jean afterwards. Morency found her and she told him her little sister was killed by an English soldier, so that little fairy became her family, she tried to end the war with ritual, but everything was in vain, so he showed Jean the stone and told her about the power she could get but she won't stay a normal human and couldn't stay in the village, she have to live a solidarity life. But he'll stay by her side forever, believing in him, Morency broke the stone in half and puts it right into her cut after he gave her the elixir through that kiss. It burned her whole body from the inside, but that turned her into a completely different person, she killed all of the English soldiers who got in her way, and half of them ran away. So Nakira took Morency by the collar to ask what happened and Astroff explained that it's the influence of stone that made Jean's emotions heightened, but this Ulysses mode won't be longer than three minutes, but until then her split personality will be arrogant, she challenges Nakira for a fight for entertainment and in a blink of an eye she was about to kill her, but three minutes passed right before she would have stabbed Nakira, so everything went back to normal and now she had to leave the village, other people treated her like a devil. So Jean asked the chief to tell her parents that she's leaving but she'll be safe and left with Morency. Then as the story continues, the royal male descended have died in the battle, and only Charlotte left, so she was crowned as the queen, and Morency was spreading the rumors that Jean is a saint. But it is not that easy for anyone to believe, yet Morency had planned everything along, Jean is a commoner which brings out reality into his words, and to make it solid. He used Astroff as an archangel to make people believe Jean is a saint. So the plan was successful in spreading the rumors, and now they were traveling to the capital. But their Nakara can't help herself by the cutesiness of Astroff, so Morency told her to treat her disease of obsession from a doctor, and their Jean came to make a small request. She just couldn't control herself and wants to drink elixir, and since it's Morency's saliva, she couldn't help but want a kiss, we'll call that the side effect of breaking the stone in half. So now Jean needs elixir every time she uses Ulysses, but there another English troops ambushed them, but Jean didn't stop and drank the elixir. After that she beats all of them but the captain of the attackers saw Jean could only use it for three minutes and goes off. Then our group arrived in the capital and Morency sent the letter to Charlotte telling her about the saint, but first it goes to the prime minister and his intentions were corrupted, on his order. They were brought into the castle, but Morency vanished in the middle and the guard told Jean to keep going because the queen was waiting. But Morency was captured instead and was thrown into a secret cell where he met Rishma after so many years. At that time Jean enters the courtroom where all the nobles were staring at her like hounds. Jean were to be presented in front of Charlotte, but sitting on the throne was the fake. Charlotte had enough of people bringing in fake saints, but Jean knew the queen in front was a fake and the real one was upstairs. In the meantime, we got into flashback in time when Rishma was defeated. Naturally she would have died but Henry took her under his wing but a few years after he died. She joined Henry only to play the role of conciliator to end the war, but now that he died, the English army were planning to conquer France, and the Specs dude wants to marry Rishma, so she fled and came back to France, she was a traitor yet Charlotte took her in, but corrupt nobility blamed her when she tried to expose them and this is where she ended up. She had believed Morency would save her, but he didn't, he was out there playing alchemy in his room, and the scene goes to Charlotte, Jean told her about Morency and his letter, but letter never made it to her, even she was despising Morency who left her, but Jean told her he's not that type of guy, Morency lost his sense of time due to alchemy practice, and later he was pursued by the Inquisitor, but Charlotte was still angry because she was suffering all alone here without family or friends, 
and suddenly an attacker attacked them, and Jean activated her Ulysses and saved Charlotte, but her time was up, and the real attacker showed up, his plan was to get Philosopher's Stone from Jean, and the Prime Minister who kidnapped Morency and framed Rishma was Morency's stepbrother. So what will happen next, find out in the next video, until then, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates of my videos, and like the video to support me so that I could bring out more anime videos like this time, so take care.